Hello there, this is me, your host, Dauntless, coming back at you again with some more Tactical European League Season 6 action. This time we have Poland and Italy going to battle. But first, before we get into it, please feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Maybe like the video too. And if you have any questions, feel free to ask them down below. Anyway, let's go into it. The main event. Let's go, let's go. What's that? Shot, shot, shot. All right, here we go with some more Tactical European League Season 6 action. This time we have Italy and Poland going to war. Italy are the blue team, Poland are the orange team. As you see Nervo getting a kill on Maddox straight away. And you see Batten there going in on Pino, getting the kill. That object, the barrel hitting him. I think he's one of the frag grenades. Also see uh, Pino getting a kill on Briganti there. I'm following Pino there running in now with that grenade launcher, the adrenaline and the smoke grenades. Switching to ATV, using that uh, Lando emitter there with the adrenaline. You can see those grenades popping in as you can see the bag slowly starting to spawn just by here. In it comes. Who's going to go for it? Just there's a barrage of grenades flying through. Peter picks it up. Poland, but gets taken out by Sophine. Sophine for Italy now, looking to get back. Smoke grenade lands nearby, placing down some uh, Mines charges in Baton gets the kill using that taser there. Sophine and RPGs coming in. Just overhead there. You see a bit of a battle going on there as Manic is taken out by Sophine's mine. Oh, Peter actually is taken out by the mine, but the Lando emitter there from ATV killing Sophine. But Turagan for Italy has retrieved the bag using that Moses operator with the MG. Briganti now under attack from Baton. Frag grenade tossed in. See Peacemaker nearby. Looking at maybe double team, but Briganti there puts down a mine. Grenade from Manic. Manic and the kill with that grenade. Good hit. Manic now switching to the Diana drone, dropping those uh, claymores. Trying to maintain pressure on the bag holder. Turakan still has it. Scores 31 16. Just over two minutes left to go. Briganti getting a kill there. Following Nuru now, using that Diana drone with his frag grenades, drops it down. You see the bad carrier, I think it's Turrican, taking that. Now Sophine has it, under pressure, taken out by Peacemaker. Bag is now free. Poland going in on the bag. Peter has it, gets landed out by Briganti. Bag still free, but for the Italian defense does a good job there, mopping up the Poland attack. And. Score now 43 28, 1 minute 37 seconds to go. Let's follow it now from the Polish side. Following Manic using that Diana drone, placing down those mines, trying to cause a bit of havoc there for the Italians. As you see below, Sophine and ATV going to battle. Sophine getting that double kill there on ATV and Batten. Switching now to Pito. Pito for Poland. Switching, waiting for Poland. It looks like uh, they're trying to. Let's group up and maybe start in on a push. See a couple of mines around, some grenades going off nearby. Batten, Peter going in double on Turrican, also teaming up with Peacemaker. Sophine nearby. Oh, that mine going off. Sophine getting a kill on Batten. Peter now charging in to Sophine. Sophine with that double kill. Score, still creeping up. Seeing those grenades going overhead from Pino. That David operator, the reload speed's pretty quick, but I think ATV is there with a prototype or manic actually. I'll switch to it, just uh, got taken out there though. But uh, Briganti now with the bag for Italy. See Batten thrown in those frag grenades using the Moses operator again, chased down by Sophie. Switches up with ATV. Poland now going in on the final push. Grenades from Pino coming in. Bagman, safe though, in the middle of the map. Turrican getting a kill on Peacemaker as we come to the end of the first match. And that is it. Italy win the first match, 89-42. I'll quickly cycle through the player's gear so you can quickly see what they've got. Look at that, the Batten skin there with the power system skin, that's pretty cool. Briganti using the jailbreak skin on that uh, Dutch operator. And has everything maxed with all gold mods. Then we have Batten, level 12 Dutch. And 
more or less, you know, pretty high gear there. Two gold mods on that SMG or the PTA 80. Nice. Scoreboard for that first game, we have Briganti scoring 29 points, which means 6 kills, 2 deaths, and 1 assist. And for Poland, we have Batten scoring 12 points, which means 6 kills, 5 deaths, and 1 assist. The game's all, on to the second match. Here we go, match 2 of a possible 5 on the old depot. Italy versus Poland. Italy are the blue team. Poland, the orange team. Bad grab is on. Peter for Poland's picked it up. Pino hit with those RPGs. Taken out. Peter though running away from that MG. But gets back into the Polish spawn. Really low health. Literally a whisker of health. One shot away as you see those kills coming in for Poland at the top right. Krychow getting a kill on Turukan and Manik getting a kill on Briganti. Now you got ATV there just uh, aware of uh, any possible RPGs coming in, you can see some blood fire across the top of the map and the car getting hit with another RPG. Let's try and switch it now to the Italian side as we follow Briganti using Sharon or Sharon or Sharon even. <laughs> as you see Pino getting a kill there with Crycho with that car. Briganti going in on ATV gets the kill with an MG. Batten under attack has the bag. Briganti coming in with an MG. Taken out. Bag is free. See some sniper fire coming in now. Crutchol going to kill it on Nervu. Crutchol then taken out by Turrican. Manic going in on Turrican on the top of the map. Turrican using that taser. Getting the kill. Turrican though really low health. Literally a whisker away there. Briganti though for Italy has the bag. Back in the Italian spawn. Score is 33 19. 3 minutes 25 seconds to go. Spino. Ooh, rolls into that bit of concrete and gets taken out as what happens in this game regularly. <laughs> Turrican getting a kill on Crycho with that uh, katana. As you can hear Thomas coming in across the map. You can see him going in on Baton. Baton taken out by Briganti. See ATV now nearby. You hear that booming noise as ATV gets a kill on Turrican with that prototype. ATV using David. Gonna get in closer, I think, to the Italian side. If you watch those grenades, the proximity explosion will set off those nearby mines. Could get a kill. Nuru, I believe, using that Diana drone comes close. ATV though, you can see Pino there. Getting taken out by Pito. And Sophine killing a kill on Peter. Nervo spawns right in front. And there's it. ATV is taken out by Sophine. Here's some more gunfire trying to find the action. It's Batten taken out. Oof. Here those drones have been flying overhead. Leave a manic for Poland. Using that Diana. Just waiting for those drones to reach out. You can see Pino throwing those grenades. Up in the air with that grenade launcher, as well as Manic returning fire with his grenade launcher. Score 70 37. Manic now launching the Diana drone with the claymores ready to be dropped. Krycholo has the bag for oh, Poland. Running back under pressure. You can see those grenades coming in. Honor comes in. Ooh. Oh, we have a team kill there. But Poland might have a chance to get the bag as Nervo retrieves it, looking to get back for Italy, but under attack. Taken out, Peter retrieves the back to Poland, looking to get across the other side of the train tracks. As it the train has cut off the map, but Bagman is down. There's no one there to recover it now. Batten's nearby, second life comes to an end. Switches back to Pino, and that is it. Italy have the bag once again. Scores 80 48 as we just approach that last few seconds of the game. But overall, that was a pretty good exchange there in the last few seconds. As Peter comes charging in with a little bit of a Hail Mary. Turrican gets a kill on the buzzer, 84-52, Italy in that match. Once again, we'll quickly cycle through the players here. We got Sophie there using that David operator with a red wind skin. Briganti using that shear on that level 12 with Paul Max gear. And one orange mod and two gold mods on that uh, Polvac MG. And Nuru with a level 12 Diana. So scoreboard for that second match, we have Briganti for Italy scoring 30 points, which means 5 kills, 2 deaths, and 2 assists. 
Whilst for Poland, we have Krychol scoring 11 points, which means 5 kills, 6 deaths, and 1 assist. Good game all. On to the third match. Here we go, third match of the possible five. Italy versus Poland. This time Poland are the blue team. Italy are the orange team. As we are on that area map, you can hear the klaxon going off as the elevator pops up out of the ground. Ready to spawn those zombies and the bag. Who's gonna get it? Let's have a look. Can't quite see it. Oh, there we go. Brigatti for Italy has retrieved the bag pretty quick. See the zombies coming in nearby. Brigatti getting the shot off on those zombies. Trying to clear the way as Piro is in one of the cars. Looking to push in on the back carrier. Brigatti there using that Lando meter. Launches the car up onto the trucks. And Piro taken out. Getting out of that vehicle. Usually happens. That car is dangerously close. Nearly rolled over onto Nervu. Nervu going for the enemy Deanna of Manic. Getting the kill there. So a little bit of uh, Deanna on Deanna action. Score is 30 points to nothing. Oh, that's a little bit of a glitch there. ATV gets a point. 35-2. 2 minutes 39, 38 seconds to go. Fox seems to be going pretty quick. I'm not sure if we're receiving a little bit of lag. As he got uh, Sophine and Pino there now. Right in the middle of the map, both with the prototypes, one with the grenade launcher, one with the prototype, uh, I can never remember what it's called, the anti-tank rifle, let's call it. <laughs> oh, so being gonna come that mine on Peter. Play. Briganti has the bag, he's in that uh, Lando mirror, launching that car into ATV. A lot of mines around Nervu now as that mine takes out Nervu from Manic. Nice flying with that Diana drone. Oh, Manic. A bit close to that uh, handrail there. Grenade taken out. So, you know, that explosion. Turrican now on ATV. Turrican with that sniper rifle. I think it's uh, possibly with the snake operator. You see a baton coming in, places down that uh, label mine. But you can see the guy uh, over. Uh, Oversight there in the middle of the map, as usual on this map with the prototypes, as Peter comes charging in from behind. Getting the kill on Pino. Peter and Baton teaming up. Going in on Briganti. Briganti taken out. Bag retrieved by Poland. Peter has it. Looking to get away, but runs into Sophine. Oh, Peter gets the kill there. Nice play. Peter now really low health. Needs to get back to the Polish spawn as quick as possible. Literally a whisker away, those Diana drones flying overhead, needs to watch out for those grenades. Score 75, 23, 54 seconds to go, can hear more grenades getting popped off. As Pino comes in with that roto gun, Manic gets the kill with the Uzi. Manic now retrieves the bag for Poland, launches the Diana drone. We're aware of the impending Italian attack coming in any second. See Turrican there now using that Moses operator, letting the health recharge. The vehicle comes charging in. Nervu rolls out of the door. Going in on Peacemaker, bags retrieved, but dropped once again. Bag is now free in the zone. Nervu just misses it, and Peter picks it up. Poland looking to get back. No, another rotor gun coming in from Sophine. Oh, Sophine getting that kill, retrieves the bag for Italy doesn't get up those stairs, gets backed into a corner by Peacemaker, and that is it. End of the match. 100 points to 40. So, quickly going through the player's gear once again, you can see that David with the red winter skin of Sophine. You got Briganti's level 12 Dutch. And you have Turrican with that level 10 snake with a dark toba skin. And pretty much everything up quite high, gear-wise. So, scoreboard for that third match, we have Briganti scoring 29 points, which means 4 kills, 2 deaths, and no assists. As for Poland, we have Piro scoring 19 points, which means 7 kills, 8 deaths, and 2 assists. Good game all. On to the fourth match. Here we go, match 4 of a possible 5 on the old village map. 
Poland versus Italy. Poland are the blue team, Italy are the orange team. As you see a laser flying across the map, Briganti looking to take the center point on top of that old plane. I believe it's a MiG, but uh, don't quote me if I'm uh, wrong. <laughs> You see now uh, Peter charging in on Briganti, a little bit of a Tomahawk melee fight going on. Hit for hit, hit for hit, who's going to prevail? Oh, 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 Peter switches to the shotgun as Briganti jumps out of that smoke and gets the kill. Peter Rose dodges that laser, looks to get the bag. Has it, using that Zloy operator with a shotgun, adrenaline and smoke combo, looking to get back into the Polish spawn. Nice little back right there. Score is 9-8. 3 minutes, 8 seconds. Now we hit 10-10. Ten, ten. As we see kills coming in, ATV got low health there. Looks to be using the David operator with the prototype as you see some Italian players now pushing in. Pino with a grenade launcher has so been pretty close. There's almost a bit of a team kill there. As Pino gets tasered. Pino pops off a grenade. Peter goes in. And Krychow gets the kill there with that... Uh, Secondary weapon. Crutch although using that sniper rifle with a taser and adrenaline. You can see Turica nearby. ATV goes in. Crutch gets a shot off with that sniper rifle. You hear more grenades going off. Trying to find the action is so fiend there. Is getting shot. Really low health. Looks to be using the Joe operator with the MG. ATV with an SMG kill. Nice. You see the Briganti now using the Sharon cloaked up looking to take the right prime position and uncloak and start opening up with that rotor gun or machine gun or whatever it is <laughs> is the air machine gun though um, here we go decloaks looks to get behind got prime position peter rose gets the kill a briganti double kill nice bag grab looking to get back now to the italian spawn as quick as possible dodges those dutch rtfm strikes Use there's that adrenaline again with that speed of Chiron and that adrenaline gets back to the Italian side of the map. See Nervu there getting taken out by Baron. Baron now charging in with the Moses operator with the MG. Rokes back with those grenades popping off in front of him. Good play. See Pino now firing more grenades into the Polish spawn. Switching now to Baton. Batten and Turrican going at it. Turrican getting the kill on Batten. Turrican got a little bit of low health as he reloads that MG. Teams up with Sophine. See ATV at the top there again, a double kill. Using that David operator with a prototype. See if we can see some shots getting taken out. Oh, gets a kill on Pino as Briganti comes nearby, gets a cloak on. Turrican nearby. Uh, ATV needs to be careful. Spaganti decloaks with that rotor gun nearby. ATV. Oh, that mine pops off. Getting triple teamed there then as the Italians all group up on him. Scores 52 52 though, with just under 30 seconds to go. Game's still pretty close. But Italy have the bag, so those points are going to keep rolling up passively. Poland need to get those kills in, and Sophine gets a kill on Krycho. Peter, that Dutch RTFM strike doesn't connect, but looks to be pushing in on the back carrier. 10 seconds left to go. Need to act quick. Oh, Turakun from behind. Use that secondary weapon, but Sophine gets the kill. And that is it for the fourth match. Italy win 69 52. Once again, I'll cycle through the player's gear. So we got Nervu there with that Deanna, level 12. Pretty much everything else maxed out. One purple mod, two gold mods, and an MG. And then we got Sophine, Cat Cultist skin on the Joe Operator, level 11 out of 12. The Polovac MG, one gold mod, one orange mod, and one blue mod. Level 15 Mark 6 Mali weapon, which is using the power system skin and it's actually the the baton does the same damage as the tomahawk and uh, we got atv with that david operator with the sms 41 i called it an anti-tank rifle earlier pretty much what it is <laughs> scoreboard for that fourth match we have sophine for italy scoring 22 points which means 11 kills four deaths and two assists and for poland we have Pitor. Scoring 18 points, which means two kills, four deaths, and one assist. 
the games. On to the fifth and final match. Let's go. Okay, fifth and final match for this meeting between Italy and Poland. Italy are the blue team and Poland are the orange team. Following Manic there for Poland. Using the Diana drones. Looking to launch in and attack. Klaxon going off. Elevator popping up. Nuru gets a kill on Manic. So the Diana and Diana battle commences on this area map once again. Crutchell has a little bit of damage there as the car comes in. Nuru jumps out. Bag has been spawned in the center of the map, trying to see who is near. Got two Polish players on top of the elevator. It looks like Pino's going for the bag there, going in on those zombies. Manic uses that Dutch RTFM strike. Doesn't connect, but zombies are dead, and Pino fall. Poland has the bag, rolls, throws that smoke, using that Zloy operator for the bag grab. I see Sophie nearby now, using, uh, I believe it's the Chiron operator. That's, uh, Pretty much the normal loadout and gets taken out there by Manix Dutch RTFM strike. Manix going in now on Briganti. Goes back. Getting the kill. Nice. Score is 23 10. 2 minutes 45 seconds to go. Still early days now. We can hear those grenades going off across the map. I think uh, Pino I had them for uh, Italy. It's been taken out though. See Briganti coming in on a vehicle, using the Mini under attack with that RTFM, or the Dutch, uh, the <laughs> MG, sorry. Rolls out of the way of that pipe, you can see Sophie nearby. Oh, ho, ho, Briganti, a little bit of a team kill there with that Lando emitter. Bag though, still in the hands of the Polish players. Peter has it. Diana drone flying overhead, needs to be careful of those frag grenades dropping in. Looks like they might have possibly cleared out, uh, some of the Italians, but there's uh, Briganti there as the rest of the Polish team spawn in around him, so they're all on Briganti. Briganti just gets taken out there by Batten. Poland still has the bag though, with the uh, grenades coming in now, popping off all around the area. Pino using that David with the grenade launcher. You see them firing in in that arcing shot. ATV comes up the ramp, the steps, grenades are still going off. You see Sophie getting a kill on ATV. Sophie now looking to push in to the Polish spawn. Oh, that car under control squishes him against that uh, parked truck there. Crazy action. As you see, Turrican getting taken out. Pino now on his own. David. Oh, Lando then taken out by Manic with that uh, secondary weapon. Manic now launches that Diana drone, placing down those mines in key choke points to try and stop any uh, quick. Uh, Italian attack, but Nuru gets the kill with those frag grenades with that Diana. Switching now to Nuru, running in with that Diana, letting those drones recharge. Gets that rotor gun ready. Near Batten going in now. Nuru gets the kill. Nuru now with that rotor gun, launching them in. Use it. Oh, rolls back just in time. Still has really low health. Smoke grenades being thrown out. ATV now going in, getting a kill on Nuru. Poland still have the bag. Score 74, 28, 28 seconds to go. Just Italy come pushing in strong on this side of the map into the Polish spawn. You can hear that rotor gun fire as a grenade drops nearby. Ooh. Batten's second life activated. Pino nearby with that grenade launcher ready to start. Spamming into the Polish storm. Grenades overhead. Rolls back. And that looks like the game is up. And Poland get the consolation victory. 83 38. So let's have a quick look at the player's gear. For Poland, we have Manic, the level 12 Dutch using the Desert Eagle skin with the SMS SM50, sorry, which is the Mark 6 SMG. Two go mods, one orange mod. Also has the katana skin on the tomahawk, the Mark VI melee weapon. Also has maxed adrenaline, as well as Dutch's special, the RTFM. Then we have Peter using the Zloy with the Z20 skin, as well as one of those funky hats you can get occasionally in the game. Also has the PAS6 shotgun skin on the Mark VI shotgun. 
level 15 weapon with two orange mods and one purple mod. Orange mod, uh, purple mod, sorry, is the 4% movement speed. Orange mods are SG scope range and SG grip accuracy. Also has a maxed out tomahawk, level 15 out of 15, level 10 out of 20 smoke grenade, and 18 out of 18 on the adrenaline. Next we have Batten, using that Moses operator with a jailbreak skin, which is level 10 out of 12. Using the Polovec Mark 6 weapon, the MG, which is 15 out of 15. Again, one purple mod, which is MG receiver mobility. And two orange mods, which are MG frame aim area and MG carrier fire rate. Also has the Gluck 18C skin, which is a quick on the mark uh, 6 weapon, which is the Uzi, which is a level 2 out of 15 and has a level 14 out of 15 Lando meter and 16 out of 18 on the Adrenaline. Scoreboard for that fifth and final match between Poland and Italy, we have for Poland, Pitor scoring 33 points, which means no kills, no deaths and no assists really. I think they must have been the bag holder for the majority of the game. And for Italy, we have Nervu, top for Italy, scoring 14 points, which means seven kills, five deaths, and one assist. Good games all. Once again, Italy and Poland, thank you for letting me record, spectate, and for taking part in Tactical European League Season 6. And as ever, if you haven't already, please feel free to subscribe to the channel and, well, like the video if you wish. And if you have any other questions, please feel free to put them down below in the comment section. Anyway, this is me, your host, Don't Lose Sign Enough, once again with some more Tactical European League action. I will catch you again in the near future. Ciao for now.